And then he gets this high top fade, making all black men think he got the best lineup in the business. And it's a man unit. I can't win over there because I don't play. I don't mm. participate. Like, mm. you can't buy me, not because I'm not for sale. You can't buy me because I'm not in the store. It's different. As the dust settles from Cat Williams, explosive interview with ESPN's Shannon Sharp on Club Shay Shay. It's clear that the fire hasn't been extinguished. In fact, it's raging stronger than ever. In a jaw-dropping revelation that sent shockwaves through the comedy world, Cat Williams accused none other than Steve Harvey of being a serial liar and a puppet of the entertainment industry's secret masters. Every, all lies will be exposed, that's all. And, 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 and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. The feud, which was once simmering, has now erupted into a full-blown battle, with Cat Williams leading the charge, declaring war on Steve Harvey's credibility. This feud didn't just begin with a random spat. It started with Cat Williams boldly accusing Steve Harvey of lying to his fans throughout his career. According to Williams, Steve's claim that he was once homeless is nothing short of a fabrication. You called Ocean's Eleven to get that guy's part. What do you mean you didn't want to be a movie star? Cat Williams scoffed in his interview with Shannon Sharp. This is like Steve Harvey telling people he used to be homeless. That's my story. That's not his story. Steve Harvey was never homeless. This explosive revelation left fans of both comedians in a state of disbelief. How could two comedy giants who have shared stages and laughs now be at each other's throats? Cat Williams pulled no punches in his accusations painting Steve Harvey as a shameless liar who would stop at nothing to rewrite history and manipulate his image. Like, what are you talking about? They just, they think they can rewrite history. But Cat Williams didn't stop there. He went on to claim that Steve Harvey, like many others in the industry, is a corrupt comedian who sold his soul for fame and fortune. Williams believes that Harvey is one of the industry's gatekeepers, serving the interests of the secret puppet masters who control the entertainment world from behind the scenes. He told you that he stopped doing stand-up because he has seven TV shows. The only problem is, when he stopped stand-up, he didn't have those seven TV shows Williams revealed. He stopped stand-up because he got in a comedy battle called the Championship of Stand-Up Comedy with one Cat Williams in Detroit in front of 10,000 people and lost. Cat Williams' shocking allegations against Steve Harvey have ignited a firestorm of controversy in the comedy world. Fans and fellow comedians are taking sides, with many now rallying behind Cat Williams as a beacon of truth in an industry tainted by deception. Williams' commitment to his own brand of unfiltered comedy, refusing to sell out for commercial sponsorships or endorsements, has earned him the reputation of a true hero fighting against the corrupt forces within the industry. I'm not gonna have a conversation with these lazy bums that'll take a shortcut at any point. Yes, it's easier for you to juice than to get in the gym. Unlike Steve Harvey, who has been accused of bending to the whims of Hollywood and the entertainment elite. Cat Williams remains steadfast in his independence. He has made it clear that he will not compromise his artistic integrity for the sake of fame or fortune. In an era where many comedians are willing to toe the line for commercial success, Cat Williams stands alone as a defiant figure, unafraid to expose the industry's darkest secrets. While Cat Williams' accusations have rocked the comedy world to its core, Steve Harvey's response, or lack thereof, has left fans and industry insiders scratching their heads. In a recent tweet and video clip, Harvey appeared to take a nonchalant approach to the feud, choosing not to directly address Williams or his explosive claims. In the clip filmed on the set of Family Feud, Harvey delivered a cryptic message to his audience. When you get surrounded or bombarded with negativity, you have a tendency to look at it, to focus on it. Man, you've really got to replace those thoughts. He then quoted Psalms 23, five seemingly suggesting that he's letting his success and actions speak for themselves. Harvey emphasized that he doesn't feel the need to respond to his haters, insinuating that he's above engaging in a public war of words. The former talk show host went on to assert that people only acquire haters because they're effective at what they do, stirring jealousy in others. He also suggested that haters may be sent from the devil to provide opposition to God guiding you towards greatness. And because the person that's telling you what they say is true is speaking eloquently, don't be deceived by that. While Harvey didn't mention Cat Williams by name, fans couldn't help but connect the dots. It was a classic case of the elephant in the room, leaving many wondering if Steve Harvey was trying to downplay the feud or simply avoid confrontation. However, this approach doesn't seem to be working in Harvey's favor. Fans and critics alike have taken notice of his reluctance to directly refute Williams' allegations. Some view it as a sign of guilt or weakness, while others believe that silence could be seen as an admission of wrongdoing. There are some people who know how to lie so well 
They know how to sprinkle in just enough truth. The situation has left Harvey's fan base divided, with some questioning his integrity and credibility. The fact that he chose not to address the specific accusations made by Cat Williams has only fueled the fire of speculation. After all, in the court of public opinion, silence can sometimes be interpreted as a concession of guilt, and the comedy world's battlefield has expanded beyond Cat Williams and Steve Harvey. As another prominent comedian, Monique, has entered the fray, accusing Harvey of being a selfish and manipulative figure within the industry. The drama between Monique and Harvey has exposed a side of the veteran talk show, host that's leaving fans questioning his integrity and character. Phil, I've never met so many cowards and our black men in show business. Monique's issues with Harvey stem from her claims that she was blackballed in Hollywood after winning an Academy Award in 2010 for her exceptional performance in Precious. During a fiery on-air confrontation on Harvey's talk show, Monique detailed how she had been labeled difficult for refusing to engage in Oscar campaigning, even when powerful industry figures like Oprah Winfrey, Tyler Perry, Lee Daniels, and Harvey himself urged her to do so. And I said one word, and that was no, Monique declared, emphasizing her steadfast refusal to compromise her principles. What's particularly incendiary is that she felt betrayed when Harvey publicly criticized her without having a private conversation with her first. And you said, my sister and burnt too many bridges and there's nothing I can do for her now. Steve, do you know how hurt I was? Harvey's response, however, left many viewers shocked and disappointed. He argued that Monique had handled the situation poorly and did a disservice to herself, referring to her actions as rich people problems. This response seemed to trivialize the larger issues of inequality and injustice within the industry, issues that Monique had been fighting against. Steve, my family is suffering behind this, and y'all know I did nothing wrong. Monique vehemently disagreed, asserting that the struggle for equality and fairness is far from trivial. She maintained that her fight was about integrity and standing up against the oppressive forces in Hollywood. Her impassioned defense of her principles struck a chord with many as she refused to back down, even when faced with criticism and adversity. Harvey's argument took an unexpected turn when he insinuated that success in the entertainment industry requires prioritizing financial gain over personal integrity. This is the money game. This ain't the black man's game. This ain't the white man's game. This is the money game. Harvey declared, putting profit above all else. Moniki, however, shot back with a powerful rebuttal, proclaiming that before the money game is the integrity game. Her unwavering commitment to her principles, even in the face of industry pressures, resonated with those who saw her as a beacon of truth in a world where compromises are all too common. And that's when I look at my brother and I say, how dare you, Steve? Harvey's stance, favoring financial gain over principles, drew sharp criticism on social media with many fans and observers accusing him of choosing money over integrity and further fueling the perception that he was part of the problem rather than the solution. In the end, Monique's confrontation with Steve Harvey added yet another layer of complexity to the ongoing feud between comedians in the industry. It shed light on the difficult choices that artists must make, navigating a world where success often comes at a price. And just when you thought the comedy world couldn't get any more explosive, Gary Owen, a comedian known for his candidness, has thrown himself into the ring adding fuel to the fiery feud between Cat Williams, Steve Harvey, and Monique. In a recent interview on Club Shay Shay, Gary Owen shared his own shocking revelations, shedding light on the inner workings of the entertainment industry and further stoking the flames of controversy. As we reported earlier, Cat Williams had already accused Steve Harvey of being a serial liar and a puppet of the industry's secret puppet masters. Now, Owen has corroborated Kat's claims, revealing his own tumultuous experience with Harvey. Gary Owen began by likening his lack of crossover success to not joining the Illuminati, a reference to Cat Williams' earlier allegations against Ludacris. Owen then delved into the time he tried to break into mainstream audiences by partnering with Steve Harvey on his TV show. Initially, Owen had high hopes for this collaboration, believing it would propel his career to new heights. However, things quickly took a different turn. Instead of the promised partnership, Owen found himself hidden backstage, relegated to doing voiceovers for Harvey's show. This experience began to hurt Owen's stand-up career, as his schedule became increasingly cramped with TV obligations. The final straw came when Gary Owen landed a gig as one of the celebrities on the hit show Hip Hop Squares, hosted by DeRay Davis. Owen revealed that he made a staggering four times more money for just three episodes of Squares than he did during two weeks of working with Steve Harvey. It was a shocking revelation that painted Harvey in a less than flattering light. I'm getting paid like SAG minimum. Minimum wage is what I got paid. And I'm, I'm going, I 
can't do this for another two weeks. I've already lost a bunch of money. I lost two weekends of work. Cat Williams had already exposed Steve Harvey's alleged willingness to compromise for the sake of fame and fortune. And now, Gary Owens' revelations about financial disparities only add to the growing perception that Harvey might not be the man he portrays himself to be. With Gary Owen now joining Cat Williams and Monique in criticizing Steve Harvey, it seems like the battle lines in the comedy world are being drawn more clearly than ever. Harvey's reluctance to respond directly to these accusations has only intensified the controversy, leaving fans and industry insiders eagerly awaiting the next twist in this high-stakes feud. As the drama continues to unfold, one thing is certain. The comedy world is in the midst of a seismic shift with long-standing friendships and alliances crumbling under the weight of allegations and personal grievances. The question on everyone's mind is, where will this feud lead next and who will emerge victorious in the battle for credibility and integrity in the entertainment industry? Leave your comments below, share your theories, and engage with your fellow viewers. Thank you for joining us on this eye-opening journey and stay tuned for more revelations and updates.